WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome all to another wonderful update at 2 p.m. here at TFNN with me, David White. So we've had a market that pushed down fairly hard earlier in the day. Uh, and let's see, the S&P low of the day. What was it, Sierra, here? Uh, i got to move this stuff around here a little bit. Uh, down to uh, 39.49. Uh, now we're just over a couple points over 4,000 on the S&P cash. Still down uh, three, a little over three-tenths of a percent. Uh, but uh, eh, could have been a lot worse. But right now, there's a ton of indecision in the market. Um, we didn't have much volume on the way down. Uh, we haven't had much volume on the way up either. We're only doing about six and a half billion shares right now. So again, we got a lot of stuff going on. Um, we're going to be looking at uh, the FOM, well, let me put it this way. On Monday, China comes back after being closed for a week. So look for a lot of action Sunday night into Monday morning uh, for all the catch-up uh, for what happened over there. Uh, then on, is it, is it Tuesday and Wednesday? I think it is of next week. Yeah. Uh, well, It'll be a week from today. We'll have an FOMC meeting announcement. It's actually the 31st and 1st of February. They've kind of gotten out of sync here somehow. I don't know how that is. Normally, it was mid part or later part of the month. Uh, anyway, uh, we're a week away from the FOMC meeting. Uh, normally, we've got fund buying that comes in. My guess is that uh, in the past, or almost all the time in the past, the big funds have waited until the FOMC has uh, uh, decided to uh, go to the Oracle and uh, and uh, come down from the mountain. So there's just uh, not a lot right out here to think that we won't continue to have pretty wild swings in the market. Hang on for the show. We'll be back in just a few minutes. The reality 